I uh, so excited when you said, come, even in the middle of August, it doesn't matter. We could be, it could be freezing and I would be here because I love you. I've known Sarah since she was a baby and a carrier. I've known you as a child, as a baby. Garrett, I met you about two years ago. We were talking about that. And I just want to say here that, yes, you invited me to come and do the ceremony. And I came as a pastor, but I'll be honest with you. Right now, I don't stand here as a pastor because I loved your dad so much. And I would just want to say this, that I see the love that you have for him and how he had for you and for your family, for your loved ones. But I just want to say this. I don't stand here as a pastor. I just feel like I stand here as an uncle from the darker side of the family here. You know what I mean? And I just want to say I, I appreciate it and I love you so much and I'm so happy for you guys. Sarah, I am so thankful for that eighth grade English class that brought us together and started our amazing friendship. After that, whether it was family trips, the lake house, making a homemade slip and slide, or sitting in your Camaro in your parents' driveway, blaring the radio before you even had your driver's license, <laughs> we were inseparable. We definitely fought like, fought like sisters, but we always knew no matter what, we were there for each other. Hi, Garrett. Take you, Sarah. Take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. To this I pledge myself. To this I pledge myself. Truly with all my heart. Truly with all my heart. Sarah. Take you, Garrett. Take you, Garrett. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. To this I pledge myself. To this I pledge myself. Truly with all my heart. Truly with all my heart. Garrett, you may now kiss your bride. For those of you that didn't know, Garrett and I shot together in college, but honestly, our friendship started uh, way before that. We didn't start, or we started our friendship about to uh, probably like no one else's. Uh, we were once enemies. As juniors, I wanted to meet Garrett probably more than I wanted to breathe, and I know he felt the exact same about me. Little did I know the one person that I used to call an enemy, I would later call a friend. Garrett called me January 1st and talked my ear off for about a whole hour. He talked my ear off for about an hour about how he met the most amazing girl. After all that time of spending with this guy, I never once heard those words come out of his mouth. Those of you who are familiar with the expression hindsight 2020, you probably know as well as I do how much truth it holds. Sarah. We often refer to those few months after college when we were living on our dad's dimes and traveling as much as we could as the best years of our lives. But standing here now, I think I've changed my mind. Our friendship has grown sweeter in time and when you walk through grief with someone, you learn the deepest parts of their heart. Sarah, not only are you beautiful, loyal, generous, and a plant lady, you are also one of the strongest individuals I've ever met. I've learned so much about myself through our friendship and I'm honored to be here today, standing by your side, experience the day you're dreamed of, watching you say yes to someone who cherishes you. This is it. I think this is the best time of our lives. And that brings me to you, Garrett. Thank you for loving my Sarah P and choosing her every single day. 
I know you aren't marrying her for her help in the kitchen, but because you see the qualities that I see in her and that makes her a great best friend. Thank you for walking her through the darkest days, allowing her to grieve and offering a shoulder to cry on, but for most, for putting a smile back on her face. If each of you would go ahead and just raise your glass and allow Sarah and Garrett a time to look around at all the people who are here to honor their commitment today. On behalf of the entire wedding party, thank you for being here, really. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Rayford.